um, you hair sign people, this is the energy vibration um, for um, for the full moon of February. All right. So I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, thank you for the positive energy vibration and let's go in and see. Remember that this is a collective reading in order to get your extended reading. You have to use the link below or you have to become a member of my channel. And as you become a member of my channel, you will be, um, you receive these extended readings. Okay. So this is the general air energies. This is for um, the Aquarian, Geminis and Libra. First, we always look at the sun sign people. Then we are going to be looking at the moon sign people. So this is a collective, um, the collective energies. So with the collective energies, what we do is first, um, there is going to be a timestamp. Okay. And the timestamp will show you who are the people who are moon sign, sun sign. It's always the sun sign and then the moon sign. And there's nothing personal but the sun, moon, and rising sign. Okay. So, um, air sign people. Remember, these are collective energies. So, in order to know what is coming up for your individual zodiac sign, you have to check out the energies below. Okay you have to check out the energies below so um let's go in this and look and see first for the sun sign people and then the energy for the moon sign so first for the sun sign um what is coming up for the sun sign okay so we see you're dealing with um the queen of cups so um, this could be a mother figure. This could be somebody who you know. So you you could be using this energy coming in um, this um, full moon of uh, uh, February um, 2020, okay? Um, this is the general energies. So remember, so whoever this woman is, this woman is a, um, this woman is coming up as a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. So it could be that you're dealing with this person or you're using the energy of this person. Then we have the energy of new love is in the reverse. So you could have been having a relationship with this person. Um, it could have been your mom, but love is not there. I see some hardship that you or this person was going through or your child was going through. Um, it's happening and transpiring. Okay. Then I see some news is coming in about a situation with your child. If you have, um, as you will was dealing with issues with your child, I see some uh, news is coming in. If you were dealing with the new love, I see some good news coming in. I see the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out about a Taurus or something that has to do with a Taurus. The truth about some deceptive play that has transpired. Okay. I see no celebration is coming up for you, Aquarians, whatever is transpiring. I see no celebration is coming up for you guys. I see some of you could be having some issues um, dealing with a cancer, okay? I see a transition that is coming in the end to a cancer, whoever this person is in your life. I see whatever they were trying to do, they fall in their own, um, it's like they dig their own grave, okay? So a cancer... Some of you were having some effect dealing with a cancer and whatever this cancer has done, they have dig their own grave because they fall in their own grave. Okay. So let's see what else is coming out. We see the King of Cups energy is coming out. This is a cancer. This person has no win over you or whatever that was going on. I see this is someone at your workplace. This is a man um, at the workplace, this could have been your boss that you were having some issues with. And I see, um, no win. And I see the queen of ones is standing up and looking at a situation that is transpiring. So you both are dealing with the nurturing energy, the loving energy and the nurturing energy. 
but I see some emotion that is coming up for you guys and you're dealing with two sort of a, um, um, women uh, 50 years and older you're dealing with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands okay now the Queen of Wands is connected to a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion this is a situation with a work situation or a situation that has to do with your business okay so however this is coming up it's, it can be situation some of you are dealing with the situation with a queen she's on the work floor okay she is an Aries B or Sagittarius on the work floor so that's what I see coming up for you guys so you got to be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring because whoever this person is this person is on the work floor I'm seeing lies and deceptiveness and a lot of people are need to understand that the full moon always bring out these energies where you're seeing people for the deceptiveness that they have done and what is transpiring and what is happening and um, some of you, you could have issues with your mother or father. Some of you, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man, this man could have been seeing another woman and um, his wife could be an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius, okay? Now, whatever is to inspire, I see this man and this woman try to work against you, but it's not going to be working because you're going to be finding out what they have been doing so this is really wonderful and this is really positive because there is a lot of issues and a lot of situation that is transpiring but it's as if you people are finding out and seeing the truth of what is transpiring so we see um some of you are dealing with issues with your children you're coming out of that hardship i see news is going to be coming in i see a celebration um it's not going to be happening um i see transition debt I see the King of Cups. Some of you were dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion at your workplace, or you were working as out a situation where it could be your partner. Uh, I see this energy is going to be in the shift. Okay, there is going to be this energy in the shift, and it's going to be in a great shift. So with the Ace of Cups, I'm seeing a situation with a partner, a loved one is in the reverse. Okay, so this could be a family member, a sister or that. I see it's coming up in the reverse. I see some messages about your worries. So some good um, a message is going to come in that makes some of you worry. Okay, so whatever is transpiring, I see a message from a family member is coming in that is going to be making some of you very, very worried. Okay, then we see a new start. You're overcoming a situation. It's not really a very success, but you're overcoming the situation and you're moving forward and taking a new start and moving forward in your life. Okay. The King of Cups, I see balance is going to be coming in. I see whatever issue and situation you have to deal with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person, the King of Cups, I see balance is here, and there is balance that is going to be coming in. So what we're seeing is that some of you, it could be a relationship, no love in your relationship, or um, there could be issues with your children because you feel as if you're in hardship with your children. However, this is coming up. I'm seeing that the hardship between you and your kids is going to be over. I see the energy of you women are going to be making decision um, based in from a natural instinct. Okay, so whatever is transpiring, you women are going to be um, making a um, decision that is based on your mother like instinct okay some of you men um, maybe have to make a decision um, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or scorpion you're going to be making a decision whether or not you're going to go further with this person I see news is coming in and this news is coming in is from family members whatever the end this is coming up news is coming in from your kids there's a lot of situation that is transpiring and affecting your kids now for the two first week I see some healing is going to be coming in healing is going to be coming in between you and a child healing is going to be coming in with a situation that has to do with your siblings decision are going to be made about family members some of you are going to really decide and receive information about family member however this is coming up I see an healing between the mother and the child okay so what that is basically saying is that if you and your mom was out of alignment um, it there is going to be a balance that is coming and I see you men deciding whether or not you want to go forward in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman then this is the energy of um, the 
um, the energy of an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. I see the truth coming out about um, the Aries Leo or Sagittarius. It could be your child. And this is why I said some news is some worried news is going to be coming in from either an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, or this person could be your child, and some worrying news is going to be coming in. I see some investigation is taking place or I see communication is going to be coming in. Whatever this communication and this news that is coming in, um, it, it, it is going to bring an end to a situation. It's going to bring the end to a worrisome situation that has been transpiring in your life. So some news is going to be coming in that is going to be giving some of you some worries, but I see some news, um, an investigation with a situation with a Leo is going to be coming in. Transition is here and transition has to do with the Knight of Wands. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, I see this Knight of Wands was on the investigation. This is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. They're not showing up who this person is, but I see that this Knight of Wands was on the investigation and they finally caught him and uh, he is going to be charged. They finally caught him and he is going to be charged. I see the energy of the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is you women 50 years and older. Now, you have a, a, a couple situations that you're dealing with. You were connected with a situation with the works where I see the energy of work is going to be over for you guys. I see that there was an investigation that has to do with you women 50 years and older. And I see that there was some investigation that has happened for you women that was 50 years and older. And I see the end to your work is coming in. So you Aquarians, uh, um, you, sorry, not Aquarians. It has to do with Aquarians, Gemini and Libra because this is um, a joint reading, a collaboration and an accumulation of you air sign people. So I see an offer is going to be coming in. An offer of work is going to be coming in because they have found out some deceptiveness that has transpired. So there is a lot that is transpiring and whoever this person is, I see that this man, Aries Leo or Sagittarius is connected, really connected to a deceptive corporation institution. And I see that this person was on the investigation. So whatever that is coming up and transpiring with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person, I see this person is going to be, um, there is a lot of fire sign person, um, with young, young, um, people and old people. So it is as if you're dealing with the fire sign, all ages, all ages. Okay. I see an investigation is coming out on a lady. This lady is an, a, um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. I see this lady is on the investigation. So whatever is transpiring and happening, I see an investigation is coming out um, because you weren't aware of an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. Whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person is, I see an investigation is coming out on her um, because of something that she has done. It's as if people found out something that this lady has done. So um, it is something, but before we go back to that lady, we are going to be looking at certain energies. Some of you are going to be receiving some information from your partner um, or your husband um, that they want a new start. And you are going to be trying to find balance to deal with that and heal the situation. I see you ladies are going to be using the energy. Some of you ladies are dealing with the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. I see you're going to make some decision about this person, whether they're your mom or you're working with them because they have created some situations for you in your life. I see the energy of um, an healing is coming in because some information about a fire sign person is coming out now. I see um, a message is going to be coming in from a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, where you have to make a decision. Um, you will make the decision, but I'm seeing some of you are dealing with issues in your marriage. And some of you could be finding out that there was a third party and it was an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. So however this is coming up is, is going to be an alignment of energies where um, some of you, um, there was... Uh, if you were married or in a relationship or 
you were seeing someone who their partner is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, this woman is of, of an in private investigation there is some situation that is transpiring new start is coming up for you guys okay so let's look at the moon side people to see what is coming up for the hair sign people and the moon sign people you were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning okay so that is the energy for the moon sign air sign people so let's see what is coming up for the moon sign air sign people what is coming up for the moon sign air sign people um so this is that um oh the full moon energies okay so your energies came out so it flew out um, so I'm seeing that um, you are dealing with a Leo some of you are dealing with a Leo some of you were expecting a message coming in but the message is not coming in or the message is not good so let's see what's coming up for you air sign moon sign people so the message is already there so there is a situation with the princess of cups some of you could have been waiting for a message from a young pisces cancer or a scorpion but the message isn't there okay whatever is transpiring i see you have some huge regret dealing with this pisces cancer or a scorpion person um i see you really regret connecting to this person in a however whatever way it comes up then i see you're trying you need to, to stand up and protect yourself whoever and whatever is transpiring it has to do with a pisces cancer or a scorpion young lady this is the energy of a leo person that some of you are dealing with um however this is coming up um, it has to do with some money and some money that was supposed to come to you some deceptive move that has played and has transpired so I see you're trying to find balance balance with an issue and a situation however this is coming up you're trying to find balance with an issue and a situation there is no celebration for you guys um, I see that if you had an issue with a Leo the Leo is not going to be winning there's no celebration for the Leo whatever the deceptiveness and again the um, the uh, page of uh, a cup is in the reverse so um, the outcomes is the tower also in reverse so um, yes air sign um, this month I was so alarmed and appalled to see the energies that is coming up in this full moon because it's as if this full moon is basically just clearing up energies and moving out things out of your life so obviously I see no good message coming for for you ear sign um, and it's a four a four week period um, with a full moon and there is no positive message I see the energy of the tower is in reverse I see some of you who were dealing with a scorpion um, young lady have some regrets you were waiting and hoping to hear from this person there is no message coming in some of you need to stand um, stand strong and and stand up and protect yourself that is what they're saying i see some of you were dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius this person is coming up as a leo there is no success with this uh, situation i see that you need to stand your ground with a cancer i see you standing strong over this cancer there is some issue with some money and some um help that should have come in um for your kids um, it's not it's it's not going to come in in this four weeks okay so it could be coming in after that so let's see what's coming up for the moon sign Aquarians what is coming up so we see that some of you are having an issue with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this is a young lady and I see um, that um, there is a situation at your work that you're dealing with this young lady she's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion now whatever is happening with you and this young lady um, at the workplace I see that you're going to be making a decision about this person some of you could be thinking about healing a situation with this person working on a situation with this person but I see you're kind of figuring out I don't think I should really get connected with this person whoever this person is it is not feeling good okay I see that the energy of the Sun is coming up and some information about this young lady is going to be coming in 
So um, this is the reason why you decide not to get involved or do anything with this person because whatever this person has done, I see the message where um, information is going to be coming in about the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, and um, you are deciding, I don't need to work. Whatever it is, is a situation with a child. It could be um, your patient or, because definitely this is coming up, that it could be your patient. And it's as if they're acting, is there any help for this person, okay? Now, um, I see the energy with the devil. I see you need to protect yourself. But anyway, this negative force is a negative form is going to be moving away. And I see you could be blocking and preventing yourself from this um, situation, okay? I see the lies and deceptiveness is coming out and you're trying to deal with situation and trying to balance out your situation because it has to do with some deceptiveness that was around you, okay? I see the energy of the magician. Um, you have overpower and win a situation that has to do with the, um, an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius person or whoever this person was. You showed up and you showed the truth about this person, about the deceptiveness of this person. And you showed up and showed the deceptiveness of about this person. Some of you, there is no celebration, but you're seeing the truth to a situation with a cancer. So if you're in a relationship with a cancer, you're going to be finding out that a cancer was connected to an Aries Lee or Sagittarius and they have used information from you to create some deceptive situation. Okay. So if you were in a relationship with a cancer, you're going to be finding out that this cancer has used or access your email or access your telephone and use information on your email and your telephone to give to a Leo and they have done some deceptive situation. I see you have no love towards this person, Queen of Cups. I see you have no more love towards this person, whoever this person is. I see the energy of the mother and the love is no longer there. So um, it is as if you found out, if you were in a relationship with a cancer woman, that this cancer woman has done some deceptiveness. This cancer woman and a Leo has done some deceptiveness and you found out about it and it creates a whole lot of friction for you. And I see you're going to be deciding to end the relationship. Now, some of you were having issues. Some of you were really having issues with the Ace of Cups. Now, this is a new love or a baby. Uh, some of you, this person... Okay. Um, deceptiveness. Deceptiveness is going on. And you're going to be finding out some deceptiveness about some money that was supposed to be um, um, coming to you, okay? So some of you, um, there is some deceptiveness and um, you're going to be finding out that some money that was supposed to come to you um, was intercept, but it's, 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 it's as if um, it's going to be working out that they find out what has transpired. Now, some of you, whatever is to inspire, a whole lot of you are having some issues with kids. And I see some of you have to stand your grounds with the skin, whatever that is transpiring. There's a lot of situation with kids, and I see that you have to all stand your grounds. So it is like the first two weeks. And for people who doesn't have kids, you're dealing with younger people where you need to stand your grounds. I see an offer is going to be coming up for some of you because I realize that some of you are going to be giving up a cancer. Some of you realize I'm no longer working together with this cancer because they have let me go in this situation. And I see you choose to speak up about something that a cancer has done. And I see all of this is going to be um, resolving, giving you a new chance. And this is going to be good. Then I see that you men 50 years and older, I see... Um, this situation is that some of you men 50 years and older is going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness of a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius. The lies and deceptiveness of a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius. And, you, you know, you are going to think to yourself, how didn't I see this before? 
so whatever has transpired this is how it is all coming up and you're wondering how couldn't I see this before that this person was being lying and deceiving and it has to do that this person is connected either your husband or wife um, is a family to your husband and wife some of you men who is married to a cancer I see uh, you are going to be very disappointed because you're seeing the cancer and finding out how deceptive this cancer is you're seeing the cancer and finding out how deceptive this cancer is and you're really upset that you have not seen this before and how this cancer actually basically ruined your life so I see some of you really worried about a situation how a situation is going to be turning out because you realize that um, this woman whoever this cancer is has created some um, situation where this cancer came in your life in a really deceptive way and um, kind of create some lies and deceptiveness around you okay so I see um, there is uh, some of you a Taurus a Taurus could be investigating but there is some information that is um, the there should be help that is coming for you and I see you're wondering is this help is going to be coming in because you're ending with a tower moment but this is as if the tower already um, happened um, however it is coming up it is as if the tower already happened and whatever is transpiring is like the ending of whatever that was happening behind the scenes so now it's like um, especially um, the men uh, 50 years and older or um, judge investigator and that sort of a thing I see that it's as if um, your your eyes is going to be opening towards certain situation that has been transpired because I see um, that in the center it is as if some of you have to find balance dealing with a Leo and balance dealing with your wife could be a cancer and she has created some deceptive situation around you where Leo's um, um, where a cancer relative um, is as if they they both do some deceptive situation and you got caught up in this and um, however it is coming up you have no more love for this person and you are going to be kind of removing them out of your life I see that um, it's as if an investigation a Taurus create an investigation around this cancer person and that's how you really found out what exactly what was happening okay that's how you found out so I see it's kind it's, it's kind of you releasing 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 but I see that you Aries are going to be getting out of the situation because they are going to be realizing that you got caught up in this because they um, create it was a deceptive um, um, group of people who have gotten you involved in this and I see that you water signs are going to be receiving an offer and they're going to be releasing you but they are going to be holding on on the Leo the um, the um, the cancer they're going to be holding on on the Leo and the cancer they're to, they're going to try to help you air sign to release the situation that has been happening and seems to try to get you out of whatever that was happening and transpiring so this is really um very beautiful because whatever the deceptiveness that was at play that you were not aware of I see Elin is going to be coming in a whole lot of situation Elin is going to be coming in because I see that some of you will also get some money that was stolen um, from you because I see some investigation and a help is going to be here because I see some investigation is taking place so the energy of the tower is very wonderful and it's very positive because of um, it's removing your worries so some of you at the end of this your worries is going to be removed and you're going to be centered um, as you come out of these four weeks because you're realizing that you had nothing to do with the issue you got caught up in a situation but you are going to be released out of this situation so this is kind of wonderful and, and, and really wonderful and really positive because what is transpiring is that you're releasing it's, it's as if this period is a period 
of you guys just releasing people situation that no longer serve you and you're finding out things about people and situation and you're and other people are helping you to release uh, these you have no more love for the skin so whatever is transpiring and happening you have absolutely no more love for the skin so you don't want to deal with the skin so anymore and you're keeping the skin so at a breast or um because of some situation and um we are going to be going forward and looking remember these are just general readings so go pick up the um your own zodiac energy readings and in order to pick it up it's like a dollar 99 ladies and gentlemen just as you become a member of my channel it's just like a dollar 99 so um you will always have it to go on okay so let's see what is happening in your 12 houses air sign it is all about the 12 houses what is happening in your 12 houses remember that the gemini you are in the third house um and the gemini in the third house then we have the uh librans in um the seventh house and then we have um the aquarians in um the eleventh house okay so let's um look at these houses and then we're going to be um looking at them one by one and seeing what you have to deal with so i'm not going to tell you what is falling in the houses until we get to them all right and remember um you um Remember the houses, Gemini, you're the third house. Librans, you're the seventh house. And Aquarians, you are the eleventh house. Okay. So Aquarians think about Aquarians basically think about um people and situation. Okay. So eleven portal Aquarians. Okay, so that's how you're going to know. So I am not going to tell you until we start to look at all the houses what is coming up okay so um let me know if you like um this um layout okay um um let me know what you if you like this communication you guys need to communicate oh the queen cox the complexity is over so that is going to be good so there's going to be a whole lot of changes okay so it's going to affect a, a lot of persons in all the 12 houses there's going to be a whole lot of changes coming up so it's going to be affecting a whole lot of people okay so let's see what is coming up and i am i choose not to go in this until we see all of what is coming in your houses um guys i'm going to do something differently so let me know how you find this um layout and this work no okay so in the first house what we have the first house is the self and we have saturn so i see some of you are going to be making some changes you're going to be bringing back discipline in your life so whatever that was happening okay i see you're going to be radically releasing and bringing back some positive energy some positive alignment of energies in your life you're going to be bringing back balance and financial stability you're going to be changing and making huge changing releasing um some situation that you need to release from out yourself okay so it's all about working on yourself because it's just the energy of the first house you're going to be working on yourself some of you could be receiving help from a taurus to um, help you to balance out uh, issues and situations that was transpiring in your world and it's going to be making positive positive new changes for you so this is wonderful and positive because what is happening and what is transpiring is that you are going to be realigning yourself with wonderful positive energies and that is going to be good 
as we look in the, your second house your second house is the house there is some um there is some secrecy with a pisces if you're in a relationship with a pisces or if you're in business with a pisces there is some secrecy with a pisces so you got to be aware of this situation i see the energy of secrecy with a pisces so however that is coming up if uh, um, you're in business with a pisces if a pisces is working for you there is some um, secrecy or a pisces could be having feelings for some of you but it's in your money section so um it is definitely that um if you're working with a pisces there's a lot of secrets around the pisces um aquarians um um gemini's you are going to be having a healing with a capricorn whatever is transpiring gemini's you are definitely going to be having a healing with the capricorns so gemini's you have been having some issues some situation that has been transpiring you are going to definitely whatever the issue and the situation you're going to have healings with your boss healings with a capricorn healings with people in authority and they are going to be helping you to bring that balance in your life okay then um we have the fourth house whatever the energy of the fourth house is uh, for the energy of family I see some of you realizing that an Aries that came in your life is who is the right person for you so um, some of you are dealing with an Aries an Aries came in your life whoever this Aries is is going to be showing you your true north um, this Aries could be a, is a family member so it could be a mother father sister cousin brother but they are going to be showing you your true note and this is going to be good whoever this Aries is they're going to be really really um, sympathetic towards you and help you to um, clear energies and clear things but this Aries is a family member that is going to be helping you out and this is going to be good then we have in the friendship zone luck with your friends is going to be happening luck in the friendship zone this is very good i see you aquarians um you're going to be having luck with friendship i see um um the rest of you also but especially for the aquarians i see you're going to be having luck with friendship and this is going to be very wonderful and very positive because i see the balancing out of issues and situation between friends okay then i see the energy of the sixth house the sixth house um is the house of uh, um the craft the work okay and i see a lot of uh, unexpected luck is going to be coming in so some of you um could just have some brilliant idea that is going to be happening and this brilliant idea is going to bring you a lot of financial abundance now what happened is that the virgos you fall in the house of uh, um the virgos which is the sixth house and the virgos are going to be also coming in and helping you and um, giving you luck via the dream time okay so virgos could be calling in your spirit guides uh, to help you and they could be also helping you via the dream time then we have the energy of you liberals in the seven house so you liberals communication there is legal issues that you guys are dealing with or communication with your partners or communication with legal issues however this is coming up you need to speak about this and understand this because there needs to be more communication you liberals need to be honest and communicate honestly whether in a legal issue or whether in your marriage or relationship there is called the need of uh, communication because this is in the reverse okay so liberals whatever is transpiring if you're having legal issues if you're having a mar um, issues with your marriage you need to speak up so um in the house the eight house of intimacy business mystery secrets and all that situation i see you're dealing with a sagittarius and a sagittarius is trying to create some obstacles but it's not working so um if you were in that sort of a situation either you were seeing this person you end a relationship and they're trying to create some issues and situation I see secrets, mystery, obsession that is going on. And a Sagittarius is trying to create this, but it's not working. If you notice, it is in the reverse. As we look at the ninth house, I see whatever 
um, in the night out uh, some of you were having issues in travel because maybe a Leo um, has done some deceptive things now this is uh, um, this conflicts and the situation is being resolved because they realized that a Leo had tampered with some travel documents however they have tampered with this documents whether it was travel documents whether it was customer that is stolen from customer or it was something to do with papers and changing um, education papers and that sort of a thing I see they realize what this Leo has done so you guys are going to be released out of whatever that was holding you in the tent out of reputation I see you're going with the flow because you're dealing with the energy of the scorpion and this is a really animalistic so there you're going with the flow with this person whoever this person is is a Pisces uh, is a scorpion and they could be and try to ruin your reputation but you just went with the flow you didn't work against this person because this person is just definitely working themselves down um so you just went with the flow you didn't make any um move against this person you just let this person do whatever they have to do and i see um a capricorn had your back and was protecting you through this thing because the ten house is the house of the capricorns okay so they just help you and teach you to go with the flow to deal with the scorpion in the 11th house that is the house of the aquarians we have um semi-sex style allowing okay so um i see you aquarians are going to be working with a gemini um to bring some situation in balance so whatever is transpiring i see you aquarians because um a gemini is going to be coming in to help you aquarians in your house and for the rest of you gemini's and aquarians is going to be helping you when it, you come to the edge when you want to give up on something i see a gemini and aquarians is going to be helping you especially when you want to give up on the edge of something you are going to be choosing this situation to move you forward okay so this is really wonderful and positive then we have the energy of the 12th house and with the 12th house i see some of you decide to let go of a cancer because this cancer has created a lot of illusion in your life so um via the subconscious mind um this could be a relationship that you're ending um this could be a karmatic situation that you're ending you could be forgiven this person for what they have done you're releasing baggages and i see you're trying to heal a situation with a cancer okay i see the on you're healing through the unseen world where the spirit guides are coming together and healing a situation so this is going to be wonderful and positive so this is absolutely fabulous absolutely brilliant what is happening for you guys is transformation transformation is happening there is deep transformation deep healing karmatic situations you're healing and you're releasing and this is going to be good so air sign use the link or connect because um in able to receive these extenders you really have to connect to the channel and um i've always done this in collectiveness even on my private channel when um the extended was there so you have to try to basically connect with the channel it's just a dollar 99 per month and you get everything and um the higher you go is the more you get special thing and you have to go to the medium to get these extended readings because these are the full moon so i love you guys and it's just 4.99 and you have it for a month to see all and get all the readings i love you guys i'll speak to you next time Thank you.